Anyway, that's all good. So let's create a new file. New. So since wala na ako mong discuss, di ba? Ang sayo sir. Ang create a new file. Ah, mga ano mo po ka sir. Ready na lang ito. So we have the file name here. So you need to always uh, put a file name. Sa mga document. So file document name. Uh, pen to. So profile. This is a profile presets nga. Uh, it is built in for Illustrator. If you are working with print, so it will give you a print settings. If you're working with web, it will give you a web settings. Okay. So this time, I'll just have the customize. So if if we we'll change the three, then mala na siya customize nga settings. So load pa siya kayo. Okay. So this is the presets. Another size presets. Nga give you a custom ah default size for legal, which is the long size pan paper, de ba? And letter, which is the short. So A four, A three. So if it will go custom, if you will change the size and the units. So since we are inches, so let's change it to inches, de ba? And then, can I? So advance. Uh, just if this is printing because it's CMYK. RGB is good for uh displaying semuhang websites, videos. Okay, so CMYK because it's printing. And high three hundred pixel point uh uh inches per inches default review mode and hit okay. So there you go. So here is the what's that? Artboard. Very good. So this is an artboard. So now I would like to demonstrate on how to use the pen tool. Okay. So this is the pen tool here. Can you see? Yeah. So you can see there is an add, delete, and convert anchor point. I already discussed this one. So since you're having hard time to use this, so I need to discuss this more briefly. And can I slowly lang, okay? So it's very simple to start with this app and tool. The the you you will think na what would be uh what would be the image or shape that I would create that I will create, di ba? So magkano na ka? You you will think. For example, say monster, you have the all the ideas naman, di ba? So you gather all the ideas and then you draw the from the scratch. So imong logo yun na na. Okay, so the first thing is we need to start with a single point. So there are many ways uh, or can uh, techniques how to use the pen tool, sir. Or you can just have point first everything, then that's the time you need to drag them. Okay, so let's start with a very basic one. So if I already have this pen tool, these points here. So these are points, can we? As you can see, those are points, and then. Um, from the very basic is asterisk, de ba? It's an asterisk, ko ha? So, the question nang sa is, for example, okay, nakat down ng ako ang pagconnect sa ako ang pen tool sa ako mga points, which is ni create siya ang new pen tool, ko ha? Now how would like how would I connect them again? So let's undo. So you need to wait na magawas ang slash sign cursor. So, notice ay ang cursor pag hover na to sa last point. Di ba? So, what if ari ko mag-start? Uh, ari na ko i-connect. Which is this part na akong ganaan i-connect. Um, ako ang another points. So, mag-wait ka. I-hover din mo yung mga cursor sa points. Then, it will come up with a slash sign sa mga cursor. Kita ninyo? Kita? Kita? Then, where's that slash sign? Very good. So na diha siya sa ubos sa anchor point. So I click it once. So which means na connect na siya sa ako ang. So then if I draw again, so which is na connect siya, di ba? Using pen tool. So ah okay, that's how I do do it there, di ba? So very simple. 
So again, if I would like to move here, I will connect my pen tool. How would I do that? How would I do that again? Pwede? What if mo change ko nga? Aray na ako i-connect. Di ba? Last time is here. Di ba? So, what if here? Ang saan man ako? What would I do? The same and the same procedure. Ako lang yun po ni hover ang cursor, di ba? And then na ay mo appear nga slash sign. Okay ko ha. So then that's the time yung connect siya. Okay, that's a very basic one. So what if? So I want to remove the anchor points. Unnecessary anchor points. Okay. Ha? Very good. Minus delete anchor points. Okay, that one or Pwede na po, if pen tool, the default one, i-hover lang niya. So, it could be magawas ka ni, uh, which means slash sign is to connect another anchor point. Well, if we go back here, uh, minus sign is to remove ang shortcut. Tara? Di ba? Kuha. Di ba na siya? I-hover lang niya mo. Okay. Now, how about add another anchor point? Add another anchor point. Glass. Glass. Very good. So, how to do that? I-hover lang di apo ni Mudiha. And then, you see that addition sign? Plus sign? Kita? Okay. So, which means, pag plus sign ni mo, na-add siya o anchor point. Now, you can drag this anchor point using the control uh, not that the control uh, oh wait you can, you, you can drag this anchor point using the direct selection tool okay so I click on it once, once click so na fill na fill yahang box so atong is zoom so let's zoom the anchor point So, there are box, di ba? So, another way to highlight them or to select the anchor point is to Yes, highlight, drag, hold, left click, drag and highlight to that particular anchor point, di ba? Like this. So, if you notice, a nine blank space and ang fill color niya is white which means unselected. Well, as I'm select. Here is, fill color niya is na fill siya of blue which means selected siya. Kuha? So, which is for those anchor points nga uh, present in this section is kanira ang na-select. Kuha? So, we can drag this one anytime and anywhere. Kuha? So, what if, sir, I would like to drag, I would like to drag more anchor points. Is that possible? Ooh. Yes. You can highlight both two anchor point there di ba? or what if sir kanil kanil lang so you can use the shift uh, shift keyboard you hold the mode then select those anchor point then drag them out di ba? so that's the very basic one to add delete so how about sir if curve now I want this one here to curve like this pinana yes convert very good so I have here the convert option then I will drag it all over to, re to maintain the perspective or proportion of your uh, each side of your can I shape you need to hold the shift key keyboard on your keyboard yeah shift key on your keyboard so and that's yeah okay so there you go curves yeah what? Hmm? Curve, diba? Then, using this uh, direction as uh, direct selection tool to drag the anchor points, to drag the anchor points. Diba? Which is more faster. If, if mag-use mo, click, 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 uh, it's very difficult to control ang pen tool kung dagang king ana 
di ba? Sa mox siya. Yeah. And then, every time na natin changes, uh, for example, ako na yung convert, so, ma- listen na kayo. Distorted siya. Yeah. Listen kayo. So, just keep remember this. Every curve na gina siya ay at least, uh, I think, two anchor points. So, for example, kang, um, I hope I remember, no? Katong kang, sir. So, this is the first curve. And this is the uh, I think it's too far. This one, this one. What's what's that shape? Is that C? And this one. And it's very easy to draw, but it's hard to again. I think here. That's the C. So you c- you can arrange this after, diba? So once the na- the form ng shape, so use the directions as the select direct selection tool, then uh, move it like ayos sa ikaw. Don't connect it first. Uh, don't connect it yet. Okay. So then that's the time na you arrange, diba? So since uh, you are done. Okay, now another another rule in pen two. We have this left and right arm, left and right arm, diba? What what does it does? It's used to adjust from left and right angle or yahang curvedness. So, for example, this one. Now, how to do that? So, um, you can also. Use that one using the, the, uh, the, the select direct direct se, direct selection tool like this. Pwede, pwede ako na siya. Or you can have the pen tool, then use the Alt keyboard to isolate. Or gonna, if the single, if single left and right arm mga to ang adjust. If ever lang, if that possible, if you want, di ba? Which shape out? Out. If single lang. For, for example, this oh. one. Oh. Diba? Out. Oh. So, oops, sorry. Uh, direct selection tool, drag, oops. Drag, direct selection tool, direct selection tool. Diba? So that's the time you arrange. You arrange everything. It seems like this here or there is any problem. So you're not satisfied with the curveness. You can adjust. Don't worry, diba? Using the pen tool, you can create a unique and you know you have the originality of your work. Dili ka nang kinapi, okay? I don't want you guys to to be kada copyrighted sa mga designs nga existing yah sa websites. It's not good. It's not a good practice. So dapat unique. Every design is uh, one is unique. So here. So, ang problem is kalina lang, di ba? So, let's drag this one. I don't know if this is right. Okay. So, kung ang yahang chubbiness, I think... Oh no, I cannot remove that one. Ah, gamay ba? I don't put so many anchor points. Kay the more anchor points na samot libog na kayo. Ah, oh, look at that. Mm. So if you are satisfied with this, then you need to connect them. Diba? So, but if it's not possible, sir, if it is already connected, can we edit? Can we still edit the shape or any object inside of your artboard? Yes, pretty good. Even though na connect na siya, you can still edit your logo. No problem. Okay. So just experiment along the way. If unsa gidi mo hang uh, prefer nga design. Diba?
Okay. So since uh, this is not quite good here in this part, so Okay, so you just experiment along the way if if ever once again you have desiring an image, diba? Okay, so question for the 10 to mm. uh,